Hello, and welcome to this short presentation on describing data. This is an academic writing video with a key focus on explaining questionnaire data. So today I'll discuss these key points. We'll begin with some data analysis, followed by language work on reporting verbs and linking words. I'll then define collocation so that we can then do more language development on referring to quantities and adjective collocation features in a report. We'll finally finish with some practice. So, just before we begin, there is a worksheet that accompanies this video. So I suggest you pause this slide now and download it. The link is in the description below. Okay, let's begin. This pie chart has been created from a questionnaire asking 500 students what their main causes of mental health issues at university were. So, pause the slide and analyse the chart. Pick out and write down any significant points of data. OK, so hopefully you have identified that loneliness is the main issue at 32%, closely followed by stress at 23%. Perhaps you also noted that these two issues account for over 50% of all the students. You may have also noticed that only a small minority of students were affected by alcohol at 4% and family at 5%. OK, so that's a good start. Now, let's look at some written descriptions of the data. So, pause the slide and read through these three descriptions of the pie chart and look to see if these are similar to anything that you wrote. These descriptions use a range of reporting verbs linking words and phrases to make the description more cohesive and precise in report writing. So, we'll begin with exercise one. Highlight the reporting verbs and linking words in these descriptions. Use these colours for each, yellow for reporting verbs and green for linking words. So, pause the slide and do the activity. So, here are the answers. I'll start with reporting verbs first. We have said, saying, stated, reported, contended, and declared. Now the linking words. In contrast, although, and whereas. You see, by just looking at these descriptions, they contain a variety of reporting verbs and linkers. Here is a guide to a range of reporting verbs and linkers you can use. Perhaps pause the slide to look at these in more detail. OK, now we we'll start to look at language development of referring to quantities and features using adjective collocations. But just before we do this, I'll just explain collocation in case you're unsure what this means. So according to the Oxford Dictionary, collocation is the way words combine in a language to produce natural sounding speech and writing. If I was to use the word analysis as an example, the verbs that collocate with analysis are these. And the adjectives that collocate with analysis are these. Basically, Language that is collocationally rich is more precise and accurate. I tend to use this website, which is osdic.com, for collocations. It's fantastic, as you can see here. OK, so let's look at the language phrases we can use in describing data. In this table, our first word is majority and these are its collocations. So a phrase could be, a large majority of students said that. Our next word is minority, 
with its collocations. Next is number, then proportion. You can use fractions by saying over half of the students noted that. Or you can use percentages by saying more than or less than. For example, 30% of the students felt they. Again, you may want to pause the slide and read through these in more detail. Okay, now I'll discuss features using adjective collocations. This is quite similar to quantity in structure, but you are referring to the discrete items of the research rather than the students themselves. There are 10 key features I think are important, and these are area, aspect, cause, element, factor, feature, finding, issue, result, and role and all of which have associated adjective collocations like this. Again, you may want to pause the slide and read through this in more detail. So, using all this language development information, we can do exercise two. This is similar to exercise one using the same data descriptions but this time you will highlight the phrases for describing quantity and adjective collocation. Again, use different colors. Use yellow for describing quantity and green for adjective collocation. Pause the slide and do the exercise. Okay, so here's the answers. I'll start with describing quantity first. Approximately a third of respondents. A small number of students. The majority of students. A small minority of students. And a similar number. Now, on to adjective collocations. The most significant finding. Main cause. Primary cause the most significant factors, fundamental, and this would collocate with the word issues, but this has been omitted, and main contributing factor. Again, you see by looking at these descriptions, they contain a variety of quantity, phrases, and adjective collocations. Okay, now it's your turn. Here is a bar chart of student feedback across two years, 2021 and 2022. Using the describing results language we have looked at today, describe the data in two or three sentences for the chart. Pause the slide and write some sentences. Okay, there are no answers for this chart but you can post your description in the comments and I'll have a look at it for you. Okay, that's all for today, I'm afraid. This was only a small part of the lesson on describing data. So if you'd like more practice or the whole lesson, then please go here or click on the links in the description below. Of course, if you want more information on all areas of describing graphical data, then go here to academicenglishuk.com slash graphs. Thank you for watching and until next time, goodbye.